Alright guys, what is up, and I'm coming at you with my trade binder for July of 2015. Uh, I do have some stuff for sale this time. Um, before I get into anything, uh, first I'm going to so like mention the rules, my binders and stuff. If you come to me, you send first, no negotiations on that. Um, if you do buy stuff, PayPal only, I don't do concealed cash because I have had people scam me uh, whenever I'm sending concealed cash. So PayPal is just a lot, trustworthy, a lot more trustworthy. And I get the money a lot quicker, and then I can send your cards out a lot quicker, so it overall just works a lot better. Um, I will look at binders, but in most cases, I probably won't find anything. I might just find trade bait, really, and I'd prefer to just trade some of my higher-end stuff, just to get stuff to finish my collections. Um, but yeah, that's basically it, and I'll go ahead and get to the stuff I have for sale. Oh, uh, one of my friends is trying to get rid of his Necros deck, so he's selling two of his Necros of Valkyris, again, PayPal only. Um, he might do trades, but I'll, let, I'll mention it to him if anybody, uh, wants to trade for these and they want me to look at trade binders, then, uh, I'll send him a link to your trade binder, and we can probably work something out with that. And then also, I bought a couple of my friend's decks that he didn't want anymore, and one of them that I'm trying to sell is a Firefist deck. Um, this is valued at $75. Uh, the only thing that's missing is two Firefist Spirit, because whenever he built the deck, he only built he built whenever Spirit was at one, so he didn't really have it updated. Uh, but yeah, there's an Ulti Tiger King, there's a gold one, two Firefist Cardinal from the Mega Pack, um, first Dead Lion Emperor from Cosmo Blazer, two Firefist Horse Prints. The first one has a little bit of creasing to it, uh, a little bit of damage on the back, but the other one that's unlimited, it's pretty good condition. Uh, then a Secret Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, Firefist Kirin, and the extra deck, the only thing I can think of that you would want to add in here is a Vulcan the Divine, a pretty good level 6 Synchro. Uh, then three Bear from the Tin, two Leopard, uh, two Roosters, both Mega Packs, uh, Firefist Spirit, two Boar, one Dragon, uh, two Gorilla from the Tin, uh, two Wolf Bark, this one's from Mega Pack, and this one's from Judgment of the Light. Then for the spells, two gold tanky and a common from Cosmo Blazer. Three Tensu, two Goku, one Rekindling, two Dark Hole, a uh, Gold Series 5 ones. This one's kind of darker looking. And this one's just a beat up one from Starter Deck Yugi. And then traps, two Tensin, two Tankin, a Kayo, Spiritual Product Kurenai. Um, I took some stuff out of his deck, just some random staples he kind of splashed in there that didn't really work with the deck, in my opinion. Uh, so I put this in there because a lot of the monsters are fire and a lot of the fire decks I've played. Uh, I do like playing this card because it's like a ring of destruction, but you don't neg off of it or you don't take damage. Uh, then an Ultra Bottomless Trap Pole from Yugi's World. Two Ultra First Black Horn of Heaven from Joey's World. And then two Gold Mirror Force. So if anybody's interested in buying the Fire Fist deck, I'm not trading it at the moment. Uh, but if anybody's interested in buying that, just message me and I'll sell you the deck. And now on to the actual trade binder. I have just some random pendulum stuff. Uh, some random fusions. I have two of the Glow Neos, an Ulti and an Ultra. Uh, if you can't see anything, just message me like what page it's on or what time frame and I'll let you know. And I apologize if there's any gaps. Uh, I went to Locals this past weekend and I haven't really had time with work and stuff going on. Uh, to just like not completely refill the entire binder. Some random synchros. Uh, this was um, a chainsaw insect, but I took it out and I just put the sleeve in there backwards, just kind of like so I don't have the gap. Uh, one of the things I did pick up at locals was an ulti first Grandmaster Hanzo, if anybody wants that for their ninja decks. Uh, and then the other deck I bought from my friend were was a god card deck. So now I have a set of gold god cards. Uh, there's I thought I had two Slifers, but apparently I only have one. Uh, then there's two Raws, one's first and one's unlimited, but they're both gold. Uh, there's a play set of gold, one Fire Blossom. Uh, two Secret Battle Faders. Two Gale, that's a rare from Raging Battle, that's an Ultra from Legendary Collection. And some Hobby League stuff, anybody collects Hobby League cards. Uh, one of the Arc Lord Christias I have is damaged, but they're both from the 10th. Uh, if you can tell, there's some creases right there, right there, and some kind of like 
debris or whatever that's stuck on the car. I don't know what it is. Uh, then I have a playset of gold volcanic rockets and then two from the Fire King deck. Uh, the Kingdom Hearts cards, I'm just honestly looking to get rid of these as soon as possible. Um, I had a couple people look at them at locals and thought they were really neat, um, but nobody wanted to like buy them or trade for them. Um, I'll sell these for $20, 15 trade value, and it comes with a mat that kind of teaches you how to play. That's more stuff. Uh, the Mystical Space Typhoon is from, I think, Spell Ruler. Yeah, it's from Spell Ruler, but it's in really great condition. Like, there's no damage on it at all, really. And then a play set of Ultra Ice Diffusions. Uh, those are both Hobby League, the Crystal Beacon and the Scapegoat. Now on some traps. Uh, it's Ultra Unlimited from Raw Yellow Mega Pack. I got one of the new cards, Multiple Destruction. I might do a pack opening of that. Uh, just because I really want to pick up some of the anti-magic arrows and one of the Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode for my God Card collection. Um, but yeah, this is just something one of my friends traded me. I also have... If I can find it. Uh, he also traded me a Jury Gita, if anybody's interested in that, but... I just thought that card looked cool. I thought it had a neat effect. Some more traps. Uh, those are both secret. That's common. Uh, some Pokemon stuff. Uh, the upside down cards are Evo Soda, Kyogre EX, and Primal Kyogre EX, because I had somebody interested in them. Um, but they haven't messaged me back, so I don't know. Um, but I don't know about the RGZ, so I might put that one back up. Um, but I am just looking to sell some of my Pokemon stuff. If anybody's interested in anything out of here, just let me know. And I also have two decks. I was making um, a Metacham deck with a new Metacham from Primal Clash, and there was a Lucario EX full art in there if anybody wants that. And then I had a Forges EX deck I was trying to throw together, but I couldn't find any of the cards for it. And then I have a Morphotrina deck I'm looking to get rid of. It's a fun little Synchro deck uh, for, again, $20. And then the fake cards, these aren't for trade, just letting people know I do collect fake cards. Like, the main ones I'm looking for are fake god cards, fake exodias, ones with really weird altered arts, like this Valkyrie, I don't know where it came from. And then a Blue Eyes Ultimate, but it has the artwork from one of the uh, Bandai cards. And then I'm also just looking for, like, really obscure, really weird ones, like this one, if you can see. Oh, the name's really weird. This one, it's not even called uh, Fiend Reflex Number 2, it's just called Fancy. This one just because it's a shiny Chaos Emperor Dragon. Uh, but on the back, you can see it has the Yu-Gi-Oh! logo. And it has the exact same logo in the top corner instead of Konami. And nothing on the back. Um, but yeah, that's it for Trade Binder for July of 2015. If you're interested in anything, just comment down below and we can work something out. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.